This is Valerie McDowell, your writer, editor, and book coach accelerator. And I wanted to pop in here on this motivational Monday. We see that posted a lot, but Monday is always a great day to get started on anything. In fact, any day is a great day to get started, but since it's Monday, let's get started here today. A couple days ago, I posted on our mistakes don't limit us, only our fears do. It was a nice little graphic there. So I wanted to give you three points about how our mistakes don't limit us, only our fears do. And my first point point is uh, going to deal with three ways to let go of the fear that we have. So the first way that we can let go of fear is to acknowledge what happened. Um, many times that we're afraid to say that we messed up, that we made that mistake, that we made that decision, we made that choice, uh, we went down that path, we were in that relationship, that we basically screwed it up. And it's okay to acknowledge what you did. In fact, it's in the acknowledgement of what you did that allows you to be able to get past that point and, and get past the fear of acknowledging. You know, the thing is we all make mistakes. No one is perfect, like ever. And so it's important that you own up to what you did, accept the consequences sometimes of, of the actions of what you did, but know that it will be over soon. And the biggest part of getting over something is acknowledging what happened. Because when we don't acknowledge what happened, when we don't acknowledge that this did happen to me, or this is how I felt about something, or that person did this, and I didn't like it, you know, we stay stuck in a place that um, keeps us from being able to move forward. So I want to encourage you to number one, to acknowledge what happened. And the second point, um, looking at my notes here is to learn the lesson. Sometimes there's a great lesson to be learned when we mess up. You know, for one, it's that we at least tried something. You know, everything we do is not going to work out perfectly. And many times it doesn't work out perfectly. Many people are out here just uh, uh, winging it, you know, and it works because you at least are out there trying something new. And the thing is, even if you mess up, at least you learn something. Um, so many of the inventors of the past, and even now, you know, try different experiments hundreds of times before they got it right. Um, when you build something, when you create a product, um, the prototype for it, a design, a building, you know, there are many different um, times that you've had to re redo it. And as a writer, oh my God, <laughs> how many times have I written something and rewritten it and redid it and then started all over again? You know, and, and that's the thing. It's just like, you know, learn the lesson. It's like, okay, why didn't that sentence work? Why didn't that paragraph work? Why didn't that uh, relationship work? Why didn't that neighborhood work for me? Why didn't that job work out? You know, there are a lot of things that don't work out, but, you know, take a little time and think about why something didn't work out. You know, make sure you learn the lesson so you don't repeat the lesson. Because the thing is, when we don't learn from the things that we've experienced, yeah, we, we tend to repeat that lesson all over again. So let's graduate to the next grade in this class uh, learning that we're going through in this school of life um, so that we can get to the next level. Um, and for those just popping in right now, my name is Valerie McDowell. I'm your book coach accelerator. And we are talking about three ways to get over the fear because we did a post last week about how our mistakes don't limit us, only our fears do. And so our first point was to um, acknowledge what happened. You know, when we don't acknowledge what happened, we tend to stay stuck in the place, you know, of, of where we are. The second thing is to learn the lesson from what happened. Learn the lesson from the mistake, from the decision, from the issue that you were dealing with so that you can move forward in life. And then the third way to get over the fear is to keep it moving. Don't get stuck. Don't stay stuck. Don't resist the change, resist what you learned through points one and two, acknowledging um, the mistake or acknowledging what happened and then learning the lesson. The thing is to keep it moving. Don't stay stuck. The thing is life is continually moving forward. You know, time does not stop. We talked about that before also, that time waits for no one. It's like while you're stuck waiting, thinking about that thing, you know, going over your mind over and over again, it's like everything else keeps going. 
time is ticking away. So I don't want you to get stuck. I don't want you to get stuck in your writing. I don't want you to get stuck in your life. I want you to move forward and let go of the fear because the thing is that's the only thing that's limiting us. And I want you to succeed in every area of your life. I want you to accomplish those things that you were put on this earth to do. And I want you to be that person that God created you to be. So once again, I'm Valerie McDowell. I'm your book coach accelerator and I'll see you online.